how do you like if you're not as well known as a producer and how do you get to the well-known artists it's by first starting long brand brand term loyalty with the current artists that are on the same level as you the first the, the artists that you can gain trust with and and from there you start building a network that starts getting you in touch with bigger names you might you might see them as like oh this artist is is local they're not really as well known but you'll be surprised as how word of mouth from one artist can go to a whole lot of people and then all of a sudden you're just getting tons of followers getting tons of people just gravitating towards you because other artists are starting to recognize number one your music is now starting to fit in a perspective of other artists that are might be similar to that specific artist and they might just be like wow you know um i really like his music and that's how you start attracting a whole lot of people and that's what I would say to that is you first need to start from the ground up. It's the same with business or, or your job. You don't just start being a manager. You first start being a tiller, waitress. You grow on and on and on until you start achieving to get there. You need to earn that. It's not something that you can just have on a platter on the plate and it just drops there. You know, a lot of hard right. work that's happening in the background. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, Kyle, I was going to say that's... Uh... That's really good advice. And, and as an artist, this works for the same way for artists, right? Like, you know, if, 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 if you're if you're like a random, like, you know, like unsigned um, like artist who hasn't who hasn't like, you know, who doesn't have like any major, you know, traps already, you're probably not going to get a feature from Drake right off the bat. Right. <laughs> it, you're probably going to have to build up, you know, a little bit of exactly um, a little bit of clout. You're going to have to have a hit song and then maybe Drake will get on the remix of that one. But it's tough to sort of, I mean, it's good to have those aspirations um, as things to build towards, but mm -hmm. you know, you, you have to start a little bit smaller, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it starts in increments. It's baby steps. I mean, you don't mm -hmm. just come out of the womb and start walking and running. So you have to start crawling first, getting the know-how of how the business works. And the best gap right now is always independent, independent artists, because you know that, okay, I don't have to go through publishers. I don't have to go through um, their networking team, their marketing team. I can just speak to this person directly, you know. And you start getting recognized once your music is being played and heard by tons of other independent artists. And other artists are listening and watching. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. They, they are listening. A, it's a journey. Someone said something to me, to me yesterday and it really stuck. And they was like... Too many people are, are trying to get to the destination too quickly, right? So you've bought your train ticket and you're already, you're already wanting to get to the last station, to your destination. But like to grow, you need to like go through that journey. You, like you want the train to go slow so you can take in all the views and learn. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just an analogy that I picked up yesterday and I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, and that, and that goes the same like to what you were saying, Carl, you know, like you're... <laughs> you're going back to this, you're creating a, this positive environment around you and people can see that they can feel the mm. vibe, you know, they can feel this real positive energy. And, um, that's when it, you start then to tend, tend to attract other people as well, other artists, because they can see that they pick up on it. Um, and that's, that's really what worked for me personally as a producer. You know, I, I started building these relationships with people. I started to learn how to do that using all of these, skills that we're talking about today you know building trust setting business standards creating a positive environment you know trying to build that long-term brand loyalty and that that could just start off with one artist and then that can extend out to others like we, we're saying you know it just keeps building and building and building 